welcome. I am unboxing a juice box from Costco and um, I'll show you what's inside. So it comes with this. So I'm just gonna pull this out. with a mountain bracket so you're supposed to mount this in your wall stud like a quick start guide your app download if you want to register your product. And the device itself. The actual charger itself. So, that's how your juice box looks like. I took the um, the plug-in version, so I'm gonna plug this in into a 220 outlet. I've had an electrician install the 220 outlet, um, so this would easily plug in there. There is a lock capability here, um, and then here's your charging port. Um, it is your J1772 charging port. So. Primarily, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check how much um, how much power this will pull compared to my uh, Tesla mobile charger. It pulls like about eight kilowatt hour. Um, I don't know how much this would be. Um, I think it gets to up to like between nine to ten. Um, I'm hoping to, to to hit that or even more if, if possible. Um, and then we'll see if there's like a, um, a good ROI in terms of a return of investment in terms of purchasing this box. This is about uh, $5.99 purchased. Um, and let's see if the uh, time savings would be sufficient enough to be able to justify the purchase of this um, product. So I haven't mounted this yet, but I connected this to my NEMA 1450 um, socket or 240. And then I did configure this for Wi-Fi access. Um, it does have a Wi-Fi capability, so I downloaded the app using the QR code there, or you could just go to the App Store or Google Play, Play Store, um, and then download the corresponding app for this juice box so I again I didn't mount it um, I want to test it out using the um, J1772 connector and see how much it's gonna charge this thing okay so now this is plugged in let's see what the um, charge rate is so it's basically registering nine kilowatt hour so about a kilowatt better than the um, mobile charger so yeah there you go so it's about a kilowatt better